Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So, these are my chickens, and finally, every single one has laid. I'm gonna show you these eggs in a second, but we had waited so long for this chicken to lay. She is quite old. In fact, she's one of the oldest, and she was the last to start laying. I don't know what happened there and why. Odin, son! You had one, Joe. Just the one. But, I'm pretty sure this is her egg, which actually has kind of a pinkish hue to it. It's kind of nice. Let's bring this out into the sun. All right, so we got the sun here, and you can see this has kind of a pinkish hue. So I'm gonna pull out all these eggs, and she's the one that does like a brownish egg, one of them. So there's two different eggs. They're different shape and size and a slightly different color. This one's a pinkish hue. This is just kind of like light tan. So I'm pretty sure this is hers. I haven't caught her laying, but there's our three brown eggs. And it's definitely a little different. So I'm pretty sure it's hers because these two, I know who they come from. They're from the barred rocks because uh, I've caught them laying and I know exactly what egg, their eggs look like. And this one's just definitely different. This is from my Silver Phoenix. These are from the East Raggers, one of each. And this one's kind of an olive-ish color, and this one's like a light blue. And then the last one here is from my Cuckoo Moran, which lays a chocolatey, dark chocolatey egg. Very unusual kind of egg. It's only around till Easter. Its shell is pure, rich Cadbury milk chocolate. Obviously way different than any of these. So finally, I've got all seven of my hens laying. I do have seven hens and one rooster, and I, like I said, I'm quite sure these two come from different birds. So if you guys know if that's common for one bird to lay a different shade, um, but I think they should come out pretty similar. And we've had a couple of these and a couple of these in the same nest box at the same day. So, you know, one of this and one of that, we've had that a couple times in, in a nest box. So I'm pretty sure they're from two different birds. And like I said, it, it might be hard to pick up on this camera, but it definitely, this one has a pinkish hue. It's a little darker and this one's a light tan. So I'm pretty excited about that. We finally got seven birds laying. And right now I'm getting only five a day. Five eggs a day isn't a lot, but it is in winter. And so, you know, they're not laying, not all of them are laying every single day. They are all very prolific layers. In fact, I got one in here that is a 350 plus egg a year layer. But she's, that's the new one that's laying. Um, where is she? She's over there, that one, with her back end to us. And she lays, that's the one with the pinkish hue that I'm pretty sure is the new one. Um, she lays, like I said, 350 a year plus. So she should start laying almost every day. But like I said, it is winter. In the summer, she might lay two in a, in a day. Um, and some of these have, in fact, um, because they are all very prolif prolific layers. The only one that wouldn't be would be the Cuckoo Moran. That one's about 250 a, a year. So 250 a year is still a lot but it's not as much like the Easter Eggers and the Bard Rocks, I think both are 250 to 300, maybe even more. Um, and like I said, that that is a Golden Comet, the one that just started laying, and she's a 350 plus a year layer. So I'm pretty excited. Come summer, I'll be getting seven, eight eggs a day. That would be great. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now, you guys try to escape the daily grind.